Okay, so this next question is from Alex Plant. I've seen your name pop up quite a few times on our videos, so that's great. Um, it's not really a question, more of a comment, but I thought it was worth sharing. So his comment is, I used to design drainage systems for sports fields, so I'm somewhat of an expert on soil permeability. As long as you have over 15% fines, less than 80 microns, even a sandy soil will be somewhat impermeable if you compact it enough. Nothing is completely impermeable, so the real question is how permeable do you need it to be? Compaction has an enormous impact on permeability, so if you have the permeability done in the test, um, you need to know how compacted the sample was. And, if possible, have it tested according to several degrees of compaction. Also, I would advise having the sand tested for iron oxide to see if there's a risk of bacterial sludge forming in your perforated drains. So this is great advice, Alex, and um, I think what you're saying makes tons of sense. There's a couple of caveats there that I would add to it. If you're just building a dugout, which is essentially just taking a flat piece of land like this snow here and digging a hole in the ground and then extracting all of the material out and coming in and compacting everything, then you're absolutely right that this will hold some uh, water to a certain degree. However, if you're on a slope and you're creating a pond wall on the front of the dam right here, snow is so useful. Um, I should teach my courses in the winter time. And so you create a dam wall right here, which holds water back into the landscape. If this starts to leak water, it can actually create a bit of a hazard because you're now holding water above the landscape. And so you have to be really cautious about that. And so we want to make sure we have a good amount of clay for the diaphragm on the front pond wall. And so if we don't have enough clay in the system, that's when we would use a geotextile membrane to protect um, this wall and reduce that permeability to maintain the integrity of that, that dam wall. But you're absolutely right on the compaction. And I think this is one of the reasons why glaying works. And so glaying is a process that can be used when you take livestock put them into the hole and let them use their hoof action to basically create that compaction, but also to create an anaerobic film layer through the de anaerobic decomposition of their manure, which will actually seal those soil pores. And that is a process that occurs in really old septic fields that we can purposefully try and create in ponds to try and create a, a really good seal. There's a whole section in the permaculture design manual on the process of glaying, if you guys are interested in learning more about that. So um, thanks so much for the comment. Sounds like you and I should have a conversation one of these days. Um, you probably have a few things to teach me as well. I really appreciate you taking the time to, to write this here. So thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.